Hello everybody and welcome to this review video for the Whittlebury Hi-Fi show at the Whittlebury Hall near Toaster and the Silverstone Motor Racing Track. The Whittlebury show, also known as the Audio Show Deluxe, was a much less frenetic affair compared to Bristol and there was time to sit, breathe and actually listen to music in rooms that were much more conducive to high-end audio. Some of the highlights of the show for me were seeing the Scottish band Caesar in the Voltaire room with an acoustic set, the Stratton Acoustic Room, which was absolutely mind-blowing, and the Carver AV Room in the Hungara Ring Suite. After arriving at Whittlebury and getting our bearings, we gathered to watch the Scottish band Caesar, who played tracks from their debut album, Time. The album is distributed by Voltaire Records, and being involved in the recording and the half-speed mixing process gives Voltaire a depth of understanding in how the music should sound on a vinyl record. The Voltaire Room, otherwise, was a very special place, with, a, with the £27,000 RG1 reference record player on, on demonstration. It had their reference tone arm and reference motor drive. The room featured a bunch of electronics from FM Acoustics, including a resolution series phono linearizer and the stunning looking Inspiration loudspeaker system. The phono linearizer was demonstrated by Tourage, taking the props and crackles from the RG1 signal and it was quite a remarkable transformation to the vinyl record experience. Also on show in the Voltaire room was the DG1S turntable that featured the moving coil cartridge I had here at Hi-Fi Music Source last May. Touraj Mukadam, who is the CEO and founder of Voltaire, explained the improvements that he's made to the DG1S over the brilliant DG1 that we had last year. So the... what we... What we wanted to do with the DG1S yes. was that there were two or three areas that we could improve on the drive side. Yes. So we'd done some small improvements on the motor drive okay. and the software update for it. Okay. And then we did the main bearing spindle, got fully, I mean, seriously polished out. Okay. Um, and we did a small change on the platter, but it's not something you can see. It's yeah. to do with the waste machine okay. rather than yeah. that, that, so more that weight, actual. more yeah. mass or less no, mass? No, no, no. Or... It's exactly the same, same thing. It's just the method you hold it to machine okay. it is more accurate yeah. than, than it was before. And um, then this led to the tone arm. Yes. And, and I thought, okay, because the platform is now much better, why don't we do something with the tone arm yes. to get the tone arm to the same level? Yeah. So change the groove, the, groove yeah, runner. Yeah, that's the, the groove name of the runner. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The so groove it's an runner S now. S now. Yeah. Um, so rather than having the aluminium polymer aluminium sandwich, yeah, sandwich it's yeah. not a five layer. It's more like a. Um, it's like a ceramic paper, if you know. Yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's not. It's not. It's not metal. Yeah. And uh, and it's got a polymer core in there. And it's the new one is more rigid. And rather than with the the other one, we had a, a stainless uh, bottom layer. Yes. That it was put onto the uh, beam to strengthen it. Yes. But this one is not. We just used two of the same material on top yeah. of each other. So. Yeah. And and what what cartridge does it sort of come with? Recommended. Well, the, we the the two cartridges that are on the packages. One yes. of them is the. Um, uh, the, the basic magneto one, yes. moving magnet, or you can have the Sabre uh, yes. moving magnet that comes okay. with it. But the DG1S is quite a capable yeah. record player, so you can easily go up to the Mystic if yeah, you want to. The I mean, we're playing the Mystic yeah. here. Yeah, 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 beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, any no any worries. future plans that we that you can on, tell us on about the, on the in in, in the whole thing? And, um, no your project I, for this year. It's all no, it's do, all top do, secret. Do do what we're doing. <laughs> Keep well, doing what you're doing well. better. That's it. If we can do them right. better, we've got plenty of stuff to get on with, you know. After Voltaire and a coffee, it was the turn of the Stratton Acoustics room to amaze and confound with our absolutely incredible Ellipsis 1512 loudspeakers that were priced at a mere £69,000. Incredible. Cord Company was also at the show with their new Power Array, which is a noise reducing power device. They were first demoed at Bristol 
Ian explain to us how they work and where they fit in with your right. hi-fi system. So Ian, I see you've got the, the new power array. This is the power array. Can you tell us about it? Uh, so the power array started out life as the power, uh, as a as ground, a ground array. array. yeah. Now the ground array was designed to get the noise interference off your ground, in, yes. or, or the ground of your system. Power array came about because there's noise on your power. Yes. So using that, we've come up with this. Yes. Basically, this is going to go into a spare socket close yep. to the output of your power yes. going to your system. And what it's going to do is reduce the noise on the yeah. power line yes. before it gets into your system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've got a ground array yes. on my DAC. Yes. I've actually got the Ethernet version, Perfect. which I really like, because I can stream through it wirelessly. I can use Wi-Fi and stuff. So would I would I benefit from having one of those if I've got a ground array Absolutely. already? I Absolutely. Yeah. So that's addressing the ground noise internally in the system. Yes. This is addressing the noise on the power before it gets external. to your system. So it's external, so, internal. So external, internal, Brilliant. two different things. Brilliant. They um, complement each other yeah, more than do the same thing. Yeah. Similar ideas, but different implementation. Yeah. And how much is that roughly? This one is 550 pounds. 550, yeah. 5, available 5, now? Yeah, available. They were launched at Bristol. Launched at Bristol, and yeah. And, yeah, local dealer will have them available Great. now. Yeah, good luck with the product. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye. The Karma AV room was absolutely mind-blowing with the Polisson R-Series loudspeakers. They were in a 7.4.4 system, surround sound. Immersive is not the word. The speakers were driven by the hugely capable Primair SPA 25AV and the Primair A 35.8 power amplifiers. And it was absolutely incredible. And the demo from the James Bond Spectre film was a sight and sound to behold. Here's a brief clip. Okay. Kef Loudspeakers is celebrating 60 years in the business and they were also there with the wireless three-way LS60s that feature their 12th generation UniQ driver. There was an update to my own Kef R700s there, the R7s, and they still look great. Can't afford them though. Ron Locke explained to us the features of the wireless LS60s and the developments in their new reference series in this brief interview. Okay. Thanks for your time, Ron. Pleasure. I'm just going to ask you about the reference speakers and what Indeed. you've got here. Yes, absolutely. So, obviously, for the last couple of years, um, you know, not being able to go out and, and present sure. a lot of these really cool messages yeah. to a lot of our uh, consumer base. Um, so, venues like this uh, and shows like this are of vitally course. important to us. Um, for the last few years, we have been really, really busy yes, yeah. updating existing ranges, adding new technology. Um, and everything you see in front of you today at this week or this weekend features a lot of really cool yeah. new, new technology. Um, we've taken our heritage line. What we hear, what we see here is our reference three. Um, it's the mid mid price point uh, product within the family. So we do a one, a three, and a five. So this mm -hmm. quite sits quite neatly between it. Yeah. Um, we've done a full update of the of the vital component of the product, which is the UniQ array. Yes. So it's a brand new redeveloped. Up, um, from the ground up UniQ array that now features not only obviously the tweeter at the acoustic centre of the yes. mid-range but also features matte material behind the tweeter yes. which absorbs all of that unwanted mm -hmm. energy yeah. or backwash behind the tweeter right. and in addition to that we've also given it a decoupled basket so the basket of the driver itself is yeah. actually decoupled from the motor system so that trend, well, well, in the net result of that is none of that um, vibration is transferred into the yes. cabinet. So overall, it's a, it's a vast improvement as a system. So not only have we updated the UniQ, we've also updated the crossovers and also yeah. the base drivers Lovely. parameters to meet the new uh, technological yeah. advancement that we've made on the UniQ. Beautiful. And retailing at? Uh, 10,500. 10,500 yep. in the UK? Yes, that's right. Yep. Beautiful. Can you say a little bit about the LS60? LS60, yeah. It's a culmination Amazing. of a lot of technology that we've been, yeah, yeah, been yeah. developing over the last 10 years. Um, it's, a, it's obviously a product that celebrated our 60th anniversary, which we've re recently just done. Um, and it features everything that's cool about KEF. So UniQ with Matt, um, obviously Unicore, which is the yeah. base drivers that share the same motor system, um, as you can see. By sharing the same motor system, it allows us to get the box a lot narrower mm -hmm. than, than typically other boxes. Um, and it's using our full active um, treatment. So. Yeah. 
all the amplification, all the DAC, all the streaming capability, all the, all the external parameter uh, equipment connectivity mm -hmm. is all featured within these products. Yeah. All you literally need to do is plug them into electricity yeah. and away you go. And all the electronics are kind of halfway down? Yeah, so basically below the base driver here there's a partition and everything yeah. below that is fully elect is electronics, mm -hmm. power supplies, yeah. so there's end-to-end -end DACs for each driver. There's 700 watts per speaker, so there's a 500 watt Class D driving the base yeah. units, D. there's a 100 watt Class D driving the mid-range, and there's a 100 watt Class AB driving the tweeter. Right. So it's a very powerful system. And we use our proprietary Wireless 2 platform to control mm -hmm. these speakers. Not only gives us the ability to connect to all of the music casting streaming services that you can, but also gives you the ability to control the speakers and the environment that they're playing into as well. So you can hone them in to suit the environment they're, they're, they're yeah, playing into. Yeah. So it's a very well, very well thought out system. Thank you. Um, and as I say, just plug them in and away you go. Plug and play. Exactly. Finally, Hegel were on display in the Auden distribution room. They had their P30A preamplifier on display with a pair of H30As for the first time driven in monoblock mode in the UK. The H30As were, do it, were driving the very American, in a good way, Eggleston Works for Gin T loudspeakers in one of the cleanest and best sounding rooms at the show. And has explained more of the setup. Afternoon. I wonder if you could just tell us about the Hegel preamplifier and the setup you've got here. Yeah, so the setup we got here is our P30A preamplifier yeah. and Beautiful. two H30A's uh, mono uh, amplifiers, power amplifiers. Yes. Uh, so uh, this is the first time we are debuting the complete set. Uh, yeah. It has been played in Britain with uh, one unit in stereo, but yes. now we're using it in mono, mono which yeah. is Beautiful. the way they were designed. Yes, mm. yes lovely. And the preamplifier is our state-of-the-art preamplifier. It's so advanced that the signal basically runs through four components okay. in the preamp. So yep. the more advanced you get, the less components you want it to run through. Okay. Uh, but the basis of those components are the key thing. So here we have hand-matched JFET transistors from Toshiba. Yes. Went uh, off the shelf a long time ago, right. but we bought all the rest, bought the rest. Yeah, Great. to keep them for our reference well products. Yeah. Uh, and we got a completely new volume attenuator, much okay. more precise and quiet than uh, the previous version, which is based on. And so it's a major upgrade when yeah. in terms of sonic fidelity, mm -hmm. and it just pinpoints the instrument so much better than we mm -hmm. had in our previous version. And the pre analog? Completely no analog. No digital platform? No digital Beautiful. at all. Okay, good. Uh, so we see there uh, is a gap in our lineup here. Yes. Uh, we're working on that. We'll see what comes oh, is in that, the Is that new news or is that something you no, can't tell us about? No, it's not. We are, <laughs> we are working on the back end. Okay. But it has been a problem uh, with getting high quality DACs, yeah. uh, especially. Yeah. Uh, there was a factory that burned down. Uh, yes, we know. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and other component issues. So completely analog for now. Uh, yeah, but of brilliant. course, there's a piece missing. Uh, congratulations to Whittlebury on an absolutely excellent show with really good sized, easy access rooms and offering free coffee. And I really hope to see you next year. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it as we celebrate 10 years of Hi-Fi Music Source. Look out for some more videos in due course.